Hello, Bernie families. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to check if your child is completing their independent activities. These are the things that they have to do by themselves when I'm working with small groups. Um, I recommend that you do this with your child, that way they get in the habit of checking on themselves, as well as they know that you are watching and making sure that they're completing their work. As you can imagine, it is very easy for your child to fall behind when they are having to work independently. So making sure that they're doing those activities will, can really help with that. The first thing we're gonna go is go to independent work activity schedule. Before that, I'm just gonna let you guys know, I made a link to the back to school night slides that you can access how to videos and all the things we talked about there. So you're gonna click on independent work activity schedule and it's gonna open this document. This one tells everything your child was supposed to do that day. So the first thing was their writing journal. Their writing journal is their yellow journal. They know what it is. Have them take it out, and you're going to check if they completed what they had to do. The prompt was, how do friends depend on each other? And their job was to finish their bubble map. They needed to include at least six things on their bubble map. I recommend more. Counting champion is our next one. Basically, your child was starting at five and counting all the way to 135. There's no way to know if we, they really did it or not. If you're worried that they didn't finish it, then go ahead and have them count real quick in front of you. It just takes a little bit of time. Next is Math Facts Fluency. These are a bunch of math games on Math Playground. So you'd go to Math Playground and ask them, which games did you play? Your child is supposed to do this for 10 to um, 20 minutes. So if they only name one game, you might be a little suspicious. Next is our Blending Fluency. So if you open this up, it will take you to a list where they have to read. And I have another tutorial on how to do that. You can go look at. They had a choice of regular or challenge. Ask them which one did they do. I can actually check and see if they finished their work, but you can ask them in the meantime, which word did you stop on? And if it seems like they know, then you know, okay, they read. And if it doesn't seem like they know, go ahead and have them do it again. They only read for a minute. They're gonna do this for A and I. So they need to do both, not one. Next is PE, ask them what did you do to stay physical today instead of just sitting. The next activity is complete high frequency word activity on wonders. To get to wonders, you're gonna to go to your child's portal and they can help you do this. You're gonna click on McGraw Hill, that is the wonders website. And it's gonna take you, oops, too far back, to this page. The to-do page, this child has one assignment they need to finish. All of their assignments will be right here. I know this activity is not done because it does not have a green check next to it. So have your child click on the activity, finish the activity, and then hit submit. The next thing was they needed to go book shopping on Epic. So that means they needed to have 20 books in their favorites list. They can take some off, add some, and then they needed to read to sell for 20 minutes. They could either do that on Epic, which I can see, or they can do that on paper. If they did it on paper, go ahead and ask them, what books did you read? And see if it matches with about 20 minutes. The last activity was a music activity. They had to write down their affirmation and then draw a picture to match. Their affirmation could have been, I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be positive. It could have been, I'm gonna be a doctor, whatever they were saying that they're going to be be simple or complicated. Now, that's all we have for Monday, but I'll show you the other two that you'll see. One of them on Tuesdays and Thursdays you'll see is called Core 5. Again, you'll go to the portal, click on Core 5, and you will get a page that looks like this. The blue circle shows your child how much they did Core 5. Today they were supposed to do 20 minutes, so it should say 20 or a little bit more here. If it doesn't, then you know that they need to finish it. Every child needs to do 40 minutes a week. So on Thursday, it should read 40. So it'll accumulate. You'll know if they've done it or not. The last one is GG. So we do GG on, or ST Math is it called, on Wednesdays. So you'll go ahead and go to the portal, click on the penguin, and it will take you to GG. Look at the little clock in the corner. If it says 20 minutes, you know they're good. If it doesn't say 20 minutes, you know that they didn't complete those activities. But that's for Wednesday. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for all of your help.